So what's up guys, Sam here and we're back with another top Android apps for the month of October. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So first up today, we have ASAP Launcher, a home screen replacement app that takes the focus off of customization, although it does certainly feature some, but puts it on speed and simplicity. So on first glance, the home screen looks relatively tame and familiar. You have a search and time widget up top and a pretty standard dock down below, but within a few swipes, you'll realize what makes this launcher unique. Firstly, the app drawer has been completely redesigned and is at first kind of hard to find under this upper left-hand side menu, but it's actually quite a sleek and super functional slide-out design. Apps are alphabetized with quick shortcut access too, and there's also a handy search apps feature as well for those times you need your app in quick time. As well as that, swapping in from the right, we have another slide out design drawer, this time full of a bunch of quick settings. This has a nice stock Android look and feel to it, and there are people who will find this incredibly useful, although some of you may find this an unnecessary addition on top of the native quick settings built into your phone's OS. There's also a slide up dock, which was implemented before the Pixel launcher did it, but instead of an app drawer, this reveals a list of recently used or pinned apps. On top of that, swiping to the left once opens up a list of frequent contacts and swiping over to the left again brings up a super attractive weather card. Heading back to the home screen and this time swiping over to the right opens up a list of upcoming calendar events and again once more to the right brings up this super clean built-in to-do list card. And all of these cards are beautifully designed and it's definitely super nice having them built into the launcher. For those who love customization to the max, this launcher probably isn't for you, but if you're looking for an all-in-one launcher that keeps things zippy and clean, definitely check ASAP Launcher out. Next up, we have AZ Screen Recorder, and there's no points for guessing what this app does, but the beauty about this screen recording app is that there's no time limit on recordings, no watermarks, no ads, and best of all, it doesn't require root access. When launched, this screen recording app opens a floating camera icon that when clicked, opens up five shortcuts, which are a settings button, a shortcut to take a screenshot, a screen record button, an icon that takes you into the gallery, and a dismiss button which hides this floating icon. Now, my guess is that you're not downloading this app for the screenshot function, so let's dig into the settings menu and see what makes this app so good. So under video configuration, you can see here we actually get to configure the video resolution, and this will go as high as your screen resolution. So because I'm using a Samsung device that has a Quad HD display, I'm actually able to select a crazy 2560 by 1440 recording resolution, which is epic. I can also change the frame rate from 24 frames per second all the way up to 60 frames per second as well as the bit rate, screen orientation and whether to record in time lapse mode. You can also configure the settings so that when recording it captures audio from the microphone which is great for capturing tutorials or gameplay videos. There's also options to have text overlay during the recording or to show visual touches or even your smartphone's camera whilst recording plus a bunch of other settings so all I can say is check it out for sure. After that we have Dumpster which is a super handy app that works just like the Recycle bin or trash can on your Windows or Mac desktop computers respectively. Basically, any file you delete from your phone, whether that be an unwanted application or a photo or video or a document, any file you delete gets sent to this dumpster application so that if you realize, damn, I just deleted something I shouldn't have, well, now you're covered. Now, I will say that whilst this app is great, it does mean deleting files won't save you storage immediately anymore. So if you find that you're running out of storage, just head into the app and select empty dumpster and you're good. Alternatively, you can switch on a setting so that Dumpster will automatically delete files after a certain time period. So that's a handy option for those who might forget they've installed this app. It's always good to have a backup just in case, so I definitely recommend checking out this app. Next up today, we have a super simple, super addictive game called Jelly Jump. It's really easy to get the hang of, but in short, this jumping game sees you keeping these little jelly characters safe by jumping up on top of the never ending building platforms. Time it perfectly and you end up landing on the next platform and gaining a level, but if you miss, you'll get blocked and end up drowning and drowning isn't good at the best of times but when it's happening to these cute little jelly things it's even worse on top of that you can also collect little blobs of jelly that can either be used to give you a boost at the start of each game or they can also be used for character upgrades the animations are really fluid and super attractive and the sound design which a lot of you should know by now is a big factor for me is up to the challenge too if you're looking for an easy time killer check jelly jump out after that we have two sister icon packs moonrise and sunrise both of these icon packs are inspired by Google's material design, but designed from the ground up using unique color schemes to find the perfect blend for either moon and night or sun and light, depending on the icon pack you go for. 
If you're someone who likes familiarity, then the Sunrise Icon Pack certainly has those bubbly colors more familiar to material design, so you may want to prioritize that Icon Pack, but if you're looking for something a little more unique, then I definitely recommend checking out the Moonrise Pack. It's full of dark, muted colors, and it just has this super sleek style about it. Either way, Icon Packs are always worth trying out until you find one that you love, especially when they're free, which both Moonrise and Sunrise are, so check these Icon Packs out if you get the chance. Continuing on with an educational app from the Google Creative Lab developers, and this one is called Vern the Himalayas. This is a new app that enables you to explore Google Maps' own 3D imagery of the Himalayas by controlling a 500-foot Yeti named Vern. Of course, being a Yeti, not only can you run your giant butt up Mount Everest in seconds, but you can also skate across icy lakes, chase down yaks, discover a variety of information, ride a jetpack, play Himalayan instruments, plus a bunch more. This takes learning about geography and gives it a creative outlet, something that people, no matter their age, will appreciate and benefit from. There are so many areas in which you can explore the Himalayas using this app, and you can even take a hold of a floating balloon and go exploring the Earth, but without a doubt, the potential this app has to become one of the greatest is certainly something worth noting. The controls are simple yet unassuming and the absolute beauty about this app is that there's no right or wrong way to explore the layout. It's entirely up to the user. Not only will this app have you fascinated and hooked, it's also an educational tool. Definitely check this one out. And finally today, we bookend this list of apps with another launcher and this one goes by the name of Eevee Launcher. And if you thought ASAP Launcher was clean, then think again. Once again, this launcher is all about keeping things fast and zippy, yet there's still plenty of customization available, although in a slightly different flavor than what normal Android launchers offer. Again, this launcher has a slide out app drawer, but along with a list of apps, this is where you can also access shortcuts to creating widgets, as well as all of the launcher settings. And from here, you can still access things like icon packs, home screen layouts, plus a few other features. Possibly the main attraction of this launcher though, is this universal search bar, which allows you to not only search your apps and Google as would be expected, but it also allows you to search within apps, giving you access to a massive range of options depending on what you're looking for and keeping everything accessible within this really attractive designed look. So for example, I can search up the movie Batman Begins and rather than just a simple old Google search, it opens up a self-contained page that gives me quick access to the trailer on YouTube, a short plot outline and a link to the movie as it appears on a variety of popular review sites such as IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. Searching for a contact allows me to bring up an all-in-one page giving me quick shortcuts to the dialer, my messaging app of choice, WhatsApp and an option to open the contact in the contacts app and searching for a point of interest allows me to go straight to Google Maps for directions or to order an Uber and look I could go on with a bunch of other cool features of this universal search bar but my suggestion is just to go ahead, download EV Launcher and give it a go. To be honest, it's probably never going to quite replace Nova Launcher for me, but I'm a man who loves stock Android and customization, and so for those wanting something a bit simpler, EV Launcher is for you. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed these apps, and as always, links to each of them will be in the description below. But aside from that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.